Hello everyone, Mr. Merkage here, and today I'm showing you how to create a nav bar for your HTML website. Uh, we are going to be using CSS, and it's not something I've created. Uh, as you can see on the screen, I've just found like a little, um, like a base that we're going to be working with. Basically, the HTML code I could show you anyway, but it's not going to differ, so I thought we might as well just take it from here. Uh, the main reason I'm using this is for the CSS coding because I don't know CSS too well myself. Um, I know the basics of it, but not very advanced. But if you click on the result, we're going to have like a nav bar like this, so it's really clean. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you how to set this up, and we're going to be using this or this for the base of the website in future tutorials. Um, so yeah, like I said, I could I'm going to go through like what all this is and stuff. Um, but like, just mainly it's the CSS file that I need because I don't know it too well. That's the only reason. But yeah, this page will be linked in the description if you want to come on it for yourself. Um, but yeah, let's just get on with it. So if we come into our new files, um, I'm actually just going to make a new, like a new home page. We're going to start again. So we just want to get the HTML code in, and uh, obviously. Uh, we would want to put the HTML tags because this is only the code for the navbar. Um, so if Seth so was to save that and we call it homepage.html, um, if we were to open this up, you can see it's it's like all the navbars. Like you could use this perfectly fine. But the CSS side of things actually tells it what to do, how it looks. Uh, like it's like the design for the HTML. Like in the HTML you s itself, you cannot make very advanced design in it. So like CSS works with it and it ties in, and you can make like nice looking websites. If if you could use HTML without the CSS, you can't achieve nice looking websites than if you were to use it so that's why we're going to be doing it um, so yeah these would work anyway but you know it's not very nice um, so let's get into that CSS files we're talking about um, so if we come into here and we just take the CSS code copy that create a new file uh, paste that in and we just want to save it and we can call this um, we want to call it nav.css uh, the reason is um, well I don't think it matters but this certainly when you're coding CSS this matters uh, as you can see it says dot nav uh, so if we go into the HTML coding the actual class is called nav so it will grab everything that we've wrote in here and apply it to that class uh, so everything in here is pretty straightforward. Uh, you got like the margin, so it's like and the padding, so like the yeah, outside of the buttons, uh, the color, you know, all the background colors, how it's aligned, the font, the size. So it's just pretty much the design features of it. So we'll just exit that out. But you'll notice that if we refresh that, the CSS isn't taking any. Like the HTML file isn't recognizing the file because we have to call it. Uh, so how we do that is under the HTML tag inside here we want to link rel uh, and it's we want to be a style sheet. Uh, and after that speech mark we want to type href because we want to uh, actually get the file and we called it nav.css. Now if we save that and refresh the page now can see we've got this uh, we've got the nice looking web page that I was talking about here now we can edit this like I was just using this as a base to work from uh, but you'll notice that tutorials is white so, um, but this is the home page so we want to change that to the home so if we come into the code uh, you'll notice that all these lines well this line here in particular is different from the rest because this is active uh, and because it's active 
we got the uh, what well, it looks like we clicked on it but really we're not so we just want to remove that class active there like that and we want to put it just in the home one so we want to do class who's active we save that you'll notice that home now has uh, the white box behind it indicating that we're on this page now like as many pages you want to add you're going to have to recreate it so we copy all this code here copy that and we'll want to create a new notepad paste the same code in but this time remove the class active from the top line and then paste it again where it was originally class equals active like that and then uh, we can put this to in where the hashtag is it's the actual page when you click home so we've made that page we can call that home page dot html and we'll call this tut dot html and we'll save it as tut dot html so the file knows also in the home page one we can change this to so home page dot html and then tutorials so we can link between the pages tut dot html now if we save that refresh it uh, you'll notice that we can click on tutorials and we're actually taken to the tutorials page and we can well on the tutorial page did I link some reason that didn't link back uh, anyway we'll sort that out but yeah that's pretty much it for the basics if you want to add these other pages uh, you just have to create the other file again uh, also just before I leave it says tut.html we just want to change that so if we come into the code uh, we'll just use title and we'll just call this tutorials so we know uh, close that off with the title tag save that uh, come into the home page uh, under here title home page title now we'll just check this out I've got tutorials and for some reason it's not linking to home let me just look at that uh, I did call it home page Right, so I have to work that out. Um, that should work. I just don't know why it isn't. But either way, that is pretty much it. Uh, in the next video, I'll be changing it. So, you, as you can, if we hover that, it's blue, which we can change. We can change the the background color from white. We can change it all really, because um, how it looks, it literally looks like we copied it, which we have, uh, which we don't really want. But I just because I don't know CSS too well I thought I'd take it to show you um, but if you wanted to mess with this yourself you'll just have to change uh, like as you can see it's got the hover uh, when, I, when I was talking about that that is this so when we're hovering over one um, if you were to change this color here well that that color is the blue so you'll change that to, to change that pretty much so it's fairly simple um, so I hope you did like the video, if you did please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time.